100 miles an hour over a highly localized area. If you uh, would take a look, if you could see this uh, downrushing area, it might look like this picture. Perhaps the best example of an intense series of downbursts occurred in two years ago on July 4th, 1977 in northern Wisconsin. While these thunderstorms air-conditioned the Twin Cities, dropping the air temperature some 10 to 18 degrees, a whole different situation occurred over in Wisconsin. This is the path of the destruction left by these intense thunderstorms, and the damage was just incredible. The length of the downburst family was some 150 miles, but embedded in the pattern were sm with these small, dark blue areas of intense damage. Here in the Twin Cities, Tuesday night, the downburst may have looked something like this. We've tried to isolate three probable downburst areas. The first in red began in Carver County near Cologne and moved over Lake Minnetonka and was responsible probably for the funnel cloud near Maple Grove. The second in orange developed south of Chaska and Shakopee and moved northeast, finally merging with downburst number three, which began over the Minnesota River around Savage and moved through Edina and Minneapolis doing a great deal of damage. Downburst three may have spawned the IDS funnel report and the merger of downbursts two and three may be the New Hope and Robbinsdale reports. Remember that uh, at night, gust fronts can make thunderstorm clouds look exactly like funnel clouds. So I hope that may have give you some picture of what went on here over the uh, past couple of days, especially on Tuesday night. On the weather, on the current conditions right now, 57 cool degrees outside. The dew point's 44. That's pretty dry. That means it's going to get cool tonight. The winds are lightening up to 7 miles an hour out of the southeast. The barometer, 30.25 and rising. On the almanac, again, our high was only 67 degrees today. Our low was 50. And it's just going to get and stay cool for the next uh, nighttime hours. And then coming up into tomorrow, it looks like it's going to be a little bit better. The satellite, or the radar right now, in the time lapse when we left you, we saw some showers out over Washington County and near Hastings. If we let the time lapse progress, oh, we're going to see that those showers continued to move out of the area, and just a few spotty showers are left. On the live radar right now, we're going out into the long range, out to the uh, southwest. We're seeing some anomalous propagation, just a bunch of false echoes. The only real echoes are down here in. Uh, portions of southeastern Minnesota, and they're not going to bother us because they're continuing to move off to the east. United, the satellite picture right now shows you most of the state of Minnesota is cloud-free. There is a few uh, clouds remaining out in the Dakotas. We may have a little bit of cloudiness tonight as those come over us. United States map is just showing us we have cool air here dominated by 50s, 60s, and 70s. Hot air down here dominated by 80s and 90s. The uh, high temperature map from today will show that. Look at those cold temperatures. Temperatures only in the 50s for highs. While we get out to the west, the temperatures are returning in the 80s and 90s, and that's good news for us. The details of the forecast for the next for tonight, a few showers out to the east, but partly cloudy and cool otherwise, 46 to 52 for lows. The winds are going to become light and variable as the night progresses. For tomorrow, partly cloudy skies and warmer highs, 71 to 76, a little bit better than today. And for tomorrow night and into Monday, Oh, not so cool tomorrow night and warmer with a chance of an afternoon thunderstorm on Monday. Sounds delightful. Sounds yeah. like summer. Looks like 80s all next week. Good.